Hey, how's it going? Just figured I'd do a quick bump in the night video on what would happen if someone were to attempt to break into my home. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd give you all a quick rundown of what I got brewing. So first of all, I have this beautiful dog here named Marlin. And this is the best security system you can have. She's extremely pleasant and nice and sweet, but she's extremely loyal and will attack anything from a freaking bobcat to a coyote or any kind of person or any other kind of dog. She's chased off pit bulls that were just randomly running through the neighborhood and uh, just a good dog. She's a Doberman Boxer mix, called a Boxerman, which is just the best dog I've ever had in my life. Excellent guard dog. She'll bark funny if something's going on outside or if there's a bump in the night, she'll wake me up. But I am a pretty light sleeper anyways. My EDC is actually, that's my EDC right there, which is a Taurus G3C. I used to carry the G2C for years. But lately I've been carrying a, a uh, little snub nose revolver. See this little snub nose? 38 Special Taurus 856 is a great little home defense pistol. And <clears throat> I always keep a medicine bottle of six more shots ready to go. Either in my uh, saddle bag on my motorcycle or in my pocket depending on if I'm going into sketchy places. I do a lot of uh, night shifts and I also do I'm kind of a night owl, so I'm going around at night, and it's just good to have, you know, a few extra. So you can, uh, if you deplete your six shots, you can uh, move on to, uh, you know, some cover and reload. But usually, if I'm if I'm doing anything at night, I like to have a pistol with a flashlight or a rifle with a flashlight, which I'll show you here in a second. But Extremely convenient, super easy to turn on. Takes one second, boom, there you go. Super bright sights, you can see it easy, but honestly you don't even need sights up close. It also has this little option, but that might throw you off a little bit. It's just good if, at night to be able to see who you're looking at because, you know, if it's some kind of friend playing a prank on you or something, you obviously don't want to shoot them. So I always keep flashlights everywhere and I keep high vis tape on them in order to see them. I always keep them charged and know how they work. Lots of good ones, rechargeable. But, oh yeah, and before I get into the rifle, um, I got lots of little areas with backup. You know, little hidden areas that you wouldn't expect. So if someone were to break into my home, I wouldn't want them to know there's a rifle so I don't leave magazines or ammunition just out in the open. Um, but anyways, if someone were to break in or I hear them banging on the door or something like that, and I have enough time to not just grab the pistol, uh, a little bit more time, I will go ahead and reach for my rifle, which has this secret latch to unlock, pop open, boom, ready to go, got a little tactical light on there, on the Picatinny rail there, and um, high vis orange sight, ready to go, and I'll show you in the dark how good this works, but I don't have to worry about sights or anything like that, you know, in a close, uh, close up uh, type of attack. But also I keep one in the chamber at all times. So you just gotta flip on the fire, ready to go. And of course you wanna keep spare magazines here and there. So I got a few in there and I, got, I always got one right here next to this. So 
So yeah, if you have time to get to the rifle, all good, but it's a lot quicker to get to the pistol. And uh, I'll show you how these lights work in the dark atmosphere. And um, if you don't have a tack light, you can get a little flashlight for, you know, as cheap as 10 bucks. That works great nowadays with LED technology. But this little light was like 30, 40 bucks on Amazon and it's been awesome. You can recharge it super bright. Always keep one in the chamber ready to go. And the, this G3C does not have a safety, so it's ready to go. And I also have a keep tinkering trigger, which is pretty awesome. A little aftermarket trigger. But I always keep this one by my bed right here. And um, usually, uh, depending on wh what which one I'm taking with me for the day, I'll leave, uh, leave one in my fiance's um, little side shelf in the drawer. And for her, I leave it, you know, like this, so she can usually just pick it up and go. And of course, you know, I took her to the range a few times and she's, she's pretty comfortable with it. So that's kind of her gun for now, but I like to take it because it's so convenient. Just throw it in your pocket. You don't even know it's there, you know? And uh, yeah, with six shots, you have enough time to shoot and run. You know, it's not like you want to be in a, firefight in the first place so anyways all right now I'm going to give you a, just a quick example of how how quick you can respond with with a pistol with a tactical light as soon as you're some let's try that again you're sleeping. Here's something. Now let's see how fast I can respond with the rifle. I'm going to give you a quick perspective of how these lights work at night, how good they are. And keep in mind the, the light for my pistol was like $30, $40, and the one for my AR was probably about $40, $50. It's a little cheapy off of Amazon, rechargeable. super bright and outside outdoors you can um, see very far with this little pistol now for the AR I have a pressure switch on this one or an on off option I mean look how bright that thing is So to me, this is the most important thing for a home defense gun at night is a mounted light. So you don't gotta sit there and fumble with a, with a light. It's always right there and you can train with it and identify to make sure that you're not shooting somebody that you know. And of course you wanna let your friends know that, you know, don't, don't break into my house kind of thing. And of course you always wanna have first aid close by and tourniquets and just to be a very responsible gun owner. You know, especially if you have kids, you want to use safes that have locks or thumb locks, some kind of a way to prevent them from getting into them. For now, I don't have kids, so I don't have to worry about that. And I don't just let people into my home. And um, yeah, if I do, I, I put them in safes. But yeah, you definitely want to be safe and careful never touch the trigger unless you're ready to go and um, obviously train as much as you can and uh, 
yeah, those are just some of my my ideas that I thought I would throw out there. Alrighty, thanks for checking out my video. And um, yeah, of course, you always gotta train, try to be as safe as possible, and uh, watch as many videos as you can to get people's different perspectives. That's what I've been doing over the years. And um, crazy times we're living in. Crazy times we're living in. So be prepared for anything. A pistol or a shotgun or something like that's a good choice for home defense. But once you shoot the 556 uh, ammunition, you'll probably be sold on it because it's extremely powerful, quick, and uh, it can save your life and your family. And, and uh, if anything like war occurs on our land, nothing wrong with being prepared.